Hey everybody, Mark Edward Lewis here from cinemasound.com. Today we're going to be looking at another video in the series of comparing and contrasting Adobe Premiere Pro with DaVinci Resolve Fairlight Page. Today we're going to be looking at their DSers. How do they stack up with each other? Let's roll. All right, we're here in Adobe Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve, which I don't recommend you be having running at the same time. We're looking at the DSer, which we can instantiate here on the channel and in Adobe Premiere Pro, we can do the same thing. I've used an EQ to kind of hype up the high frequencies in both of these, uh, just because the recording I have isn't really that simple. It now, here's me outside with some crickets and birds. And uh, again, on my iPhone, audio microphone on the front. Oh, there's some cicadas. Uh, let's see how we can make this sound any good. That's some pretty massive high frequency. So if we turn the de-esser on, here in Premiere, you've got a couple of choices. You can do a broadband, which means that every time the high frequencies cut through the threshold, it drops everything. And then multiband, where you can select uh, where the center frequency is and then how wide that bandwidth is. So you can actually use this as a de-thumper if you wanted to. Uh, just it's almost like having a completely parametric band of a multiband compressor. You just want to say, where do I want this to go and point it in the right direction? Of course, you can listen to the output sibilance. Let's take a look. Oh, and then the threshold, of course. Let's take a listen to this. Now, here's me outside with some... Just listen to outside now with this muted. Now, here's me outside with... And again... Now, here's me outside with... It's pretty nice. It might be a little excessive, so we'll bring the threshold up a little bit. Some... Now, here's me outside with some crickets. And you can do this with broadband, but here's the issue with broadband. Now, here's me outside with some... You can hear it dropping the background, which we don't really want. We want one of the beauties of de-essers is that you can get right in the middle and just take the frequencies that you want and leave everything else alone. So this is a very highly functional de-esser on any digital audio workstation. And of course, they pulled this from Audition. Let's take a look at DaVinci Resolve. A very, very different way of thinking about how to do it. Instead of you know broadband and such, you have different curves that you can choose so that this would actually be a shelf. Everything above this particular frequency gets muted, a wider band and a narrower band, and then how much DSing and then how fast. Let's take a listen to how this works. Now, here's me outside with some crickets and... And let's try the wider. Now, here's me outside with some... And a full high frequency shelf. Now, here's me outside with some crickets and... Which is a little more intuitive. You don't hear the background ducking as much. But if you ever did want to do uh, broadband, which many times we do on set, uh, hopefully we haven't recorded in an environment that is as noisy as this, you're not going to be able to do that here. You can't have what in essence is a side chain high frequency trigger to trigger your compressor, which a lot of times we want to use um, as an effect. But still, we can say you know, hey, take a look at what the frequency range is and then how much de-essing do we want, fast or slow. So this is pretty great. And I'll also tell you that the Fairlight algorithm... Now, here's me outside with some crickets and birds. It's very smooth. I will give the, I will give it that it sounds very, very smooth. The Premiere algorithm is a little more harsh. Crickets and birds. And uh, again, on my iPhone audio microphone on the front. But because it has so much more flexibility in what frequencies you can choose, you can even turn it into a not de -esser. The advantage to me definitely goes to Adobe Premiere Pro here. Now, these are both very, very good de -essers, I have to say. It's very difficult to tell them apart which one I would rather use. The Fairlight algorithm is just world-renowned. And the ease of use with Adobe Audition, again, very, very nice. I'd kind of give it a toss-up, and, and hopefully you don't have massive de -esser issues where you have to rely on getting good sound from a de -esser. Much, much better to use a multi-band compressor to do the same thing, uh, where you've got three other bands of compression and the fourth one for those high-frequency sibilants. And in that case, as we've seen in one of the videos that we did on multi-band compression comparison between these two NLEs, Adobe Premiere Pro kills Resolve. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If so, please subscribe to us here and enjoy the hundreds of videos that we have here to help you get that million-dollar Hollywood immersive experience to your audience. 
And definitely come visit us at cinemasound.com where we have hundreds and hundreds of articles that delve even deeper into how to get the same thing, as well as the world's only fully comprehensive audio education for picture, which takes you from knowing nothing about audio all the way to delivering in 5-1 Dolby. Until then, we will see you in post. Even if you're for yourself.